As I was walking over this direction, I heard God say very strongly, I'm going to release myself to prophesy here in just a moment, but I'm going to tell you what He said to me. As I was walking across the stage, He said, tell the people, behold the new. Are you ready for the new? And so it is, says the Spirit of the living God, that too many in the earth are filled with fear. They have received a wrong and an incorrect prognostication of events and an outcome of events and the season and the era that you and they are in. I declare to you that this is the time that I have declared over you United States and the earth that you are in a new season and I declared it to you and I speak it again that I am the God who is bringing forth at this time a new season you say but Lord do you not understand how bad things are and how bad things are getting and how bad things will become I am not listening to those words for if I listen to words such as you speak Lazarus would have remained in the grave Jairus's daughter would have been dead and the Son of God would never had come and raised with resurrection power a newness of life I have said you are coming into the new and I have not changed my mind therefore your politics will change and new will come and it shall be better says the living God your schools elementary junior high high school your universities shall quickly behold the new for there shall be a throwing out and a throwing up of the vomit that have been of a prior season where they have tried to indoctrinate your children this shall not be the new era that I speak there shall be new networks that will arise upon the land United States and the other one shall be flushed I said flushed and this I speak of a double meaning with the embarrassment of what they have aligned themselves with but they too shall be flushed down and gone a new network shall arise that shall bring truth to the people and it's coming quickly says the Lord and it shall be the people's network ha! there will be new sitcoms new movies that will ban sexual scenes nudity and even language you say but are you serious God have you seen America have you seen my future have you seen the new era that I have declared your dollar bills will look different your coins as new arises gold silver new look of your currency your bank accounts shall look new your laws shall not be as though they sign executive orders do not make me laugh says the living God I will turn over the executive orders the legislation that they think that they can get by with as I turned over the tables I'll turn these over and new laws shall come that shall bring no listen to me says the Lord shall bring freedom and liberty to you United States I did not say bondage I said freedom and liberty shall come this is the new there shall come new technology 
that shall come upon the land and God says you say what technology do you speak of I shall bring you back to the days of creation I shall bring you back to technology through light technology through water and through technology of the earth and what is hidden that has not yet come to the surface it shall come resources there shall come light technology that shall lead to medical cures surgeries will be done by light incisions they will say where is the incision are you ready for the new then quit coming into agreement with what is for it is a lie and what I speak to you says the living God is truth therefore watch for you're in the season I said it will be a special Passover too many are setting events times their own season and then criticizing it when it does not happen as though the the way that they thought it's because you fail to understand says the Lord that I'm not gonna do it I'm already in the process of doing it so the new I speak of is not a future event you must speak in agreement with me behold new things are now come on say that Come on. tell you says the Lord there's gonna be a new China I'm gonna deal with red China I will deal with the dragon who is at war with you and I will deal with them harshly and I will shake them I will shake their economy I will shake their finances I will shake their ground some more but then there will come a new China that shall arise and they will say, can a democracy arise? Can a hidden church of the underground begin to become above ground? This is what I'm speaking. New churches shall arise in the public squares of China and Asia. Do you see a new Russia? For I will deal and I have been dealing with you, Putin. And there shall come a liberty and a freedom. And there shall come unusual laws that shall be like a whip cracked at immorality and sexual sins. And they shall say, what is this that is happening in Russia? A standard, a moral standard that is raised. And this shall begin to affect other nations in Europe, a moral standard that shall even affect your internet. There shall come a new Korea. I have said to you before, as others have prophesied correctly, says the Lord by the Spirit, there will come a new Korea. The enemy wants to make you think that things are going towards the way of cataclysmic events of a season that would be of the end of all things. The, the time of the end of all things being at hand. But God says, no, this is a new era. This is the season I'm going to deal with darkness in a way that will shock you and God says always remember that light overcomes darkness and so it would seem that darkness is prevailing over the earth and over your nation United States but this is not the way that it shall be because I said a revolution of light and I meant it and my light shall overcome the darkness and shall bring, bring the, the new that I said you would see. Just lift up your hands. The 
There's going to be some tearing down of some old structures that represent wickedness in our government. To, wait, to make room for the new that God will build. And this is in the process now. Thank you, Lord. Just worship Him. Whose birthday is today? Your birthday is today. Whose birthday is today? Anyone's birthday you're in this room? Anybody in this room, it's your birthday today. I heard very clearly someone's birthday. There's a birthday blessing. Is there, a, is there somebody in here that your child's birthday is today? And they're here. There's somebody specifically, it's your birthday. I'm telling you, I'm not going to leave this alone. You're a little nervous to raise your hand. But God wants to bless you, so don't be intimidated. Is there usher somebody in the hallway? Find them. Okay? Because I want to pray for you. Also, I keep seeing someone's brain. And there's a swelling that's been on someone's brain. And, and I don't know if it's... And I know you, you might be writing saying it's my birthday online. I feel like it's somebody within the house here. And I have no prior knowledge of who it would be. I'm just telling you this what I hear. But there's somebody here or online that has something to do with your brain. There's a, there's a br swelling of your brain. That's, that's why it keeps coming. There's been a, a situation with your brain. And I want to pray for you. Is that anybody in here that you said, you know what, I've, I've had to go in and I've had to get some things regarding with my brain. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong. Would you, would you step over and go to this side and let me pray for you, please? You don't even have to tell me the condition. Is there somebody with their birthday in the back? Thank you for coming up here. Thank you, Lord. Kanaya, where are you at? I want you to stand right here as he comes. You were standing up here, and, I, and, I, and I'm not. I always tease people when they wear. Come on out of here, please, sweetheart, because God's very serious in what he wants to say to you. So, you know, you've got holes in your knees, and I think that's pretty cool. i got a pair of, of, of jeans like that at home. And people always, you know, tease me like, Pastor, you're really increasing your prayer. Because, you know, people that kneel, you know, they pray and they wear, you know, they, they, they wear down the, the knee. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. And so as you were worshiping God up here, I saw your cool jeans. And um, I heard the Lord say, you tell her this, that there's many people that have been and are praying for you, as well as your own prayers. And those prayers are putting a hole in the ceiling that you have put over yourself. Where you're saying, I don't think I can do it. I don't think it'll ever happen for me. And God says, this is a prophetic sign that your prayers, other people's prayers are putting a, a hole in the ceiling that you placed over you. And you're going to see a whole new day. God prophesied about the new. You're going to see your dreams fulfilled. You're going to see that your talents... And God says, this time it's going to be. So I speak a special grace. I speak a special favor, a wisdom, a knowledge. Father, that comes unto her a grace that rewards her. Father, even now, more holes in the ceiling has been placed over her head. And I say, open heaven. That brings forth the manifestation of the things that she's worked so hard for. I say, now! new it comes forth in jesus name all right is there something does that is that birthday 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 something with the brain find me that birthday person okay and don't make it up either because god doesn't like that neither do i i like the legitimate i like the genuine father i lay my hands upon him right now and whatever that is receive it be healed Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. From this moment forward. Man, I see God's hands literally coming over your head on both sides and just like almost reshaping something. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I release the anointing. Thank you, Lord. The Lord speaking not only is there coming a healing, something with chemicals? The chemicals in your brain. And even a restoring of thoughts. Recall. 
even your mood. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I release the healing power of God in the name of Yeshua. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Be made whole. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Even headaches. Yep. That's what the Lord said. Don't take your hand off because he said, I'm, I'm breaking that with headaches and migraines and tension. So I'm going to just leave my hand here. Thank you, Lord. Bless her. Bless her. Bless her. And hold up your right hand because there's also, God says, some of what's been a pressure has been financial things. But God says, I'm going to lift up your hand as I lift up your finances. I'm going to bless you. In Jesus' name. I'm going to bless the work of your hands and the work of your mind. In Jesus' name. What is it with you? Okay. Thank you, Lord. I release that healing anointing. Thank you, God. Restore. Remake. Do a creative thing, God. In the name of Yeshua. Jesus name come on let's give praise to the Lord let's give praise to the Lord do we find my birthday person Did my birthday person come is there any kids huh were there some people online well let's just do this let's just be nice but I really feel like it was somebody here if it's your birthday today first of all we say happy birthday <laughs> we're so honored to celebrate with you I see the number 50. God, let there be a jubilee that comes. And I release now, not only upon the birthday person here, but I release it through that camera. If it's your birthday today, that there is coming answers to the things that you've been asking God. And may it be gift wrapped from the Lord and personally delivered by the host that come and deliver your heart's desire and bring you into a whole new season be blessed I speak it receive it in Jesus name thank you Lord 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 there's also somebody that's been having uh, some strange bruising that's been happening on your body. And you've been noticing this. It's kind of scaring you a little bit. Who, who is that? Would you, would you come? And I'm not going to describe where it's at, so I'm not going to embarrass you. But I just see bruising. And why don't you, why don't you come up here kind of go this way. I want to just lay my hands on you real quick. Thank you. Let's believe God together. Are you both two people? Okay, come on up. It's okay. You're welcome to come on up. That's what God does. Do you know Jesus ministered to people in public meetings? The big thing today is get a, get a private meeting with a pastor. You never see that with Jesus' meetings unless he called for it. He always healed the sick, cast out devils, ministered to people publicly. Isn't that right? And that's where more churches, we need to do that. If we're going to be supernatural, we're going to obey what God says. So... But uh, this is going to get corrected. That's what the Lord said. I'm bringing a correcting to some conditions that are causing bruising. And, and, and it's like the Lord's not letting me say what that is. He's just saying I'm correcting it. So let him correct it. And so the Bible, there's two ways that Jesus ministered in healing. You know, I mean, there's many ways. But primarily, it could be something that he would speak. Sometimes he would speak, be healed. And the authority on his words would carry and, and we would bring healing. Other times he would lay hands on the people. And so I feel to, to lay my hand. In fact, no, I have to you. Would you come, Pastor Brenda? Would you lay your hands? That's what I feel to do. I'm going to put my hand on her. She prays for you, though. And God says we're going to correct this. This is going to be corrected. So, Pastor Brenda, I'm going to just come down there. Let me, I'm just going to jump down here. Now, if for some reason it takes me a minute to get down here, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Did you get that on film? Oh, you're supposed to film me bouncing down. Anyway, all right, go ahead, Brenda. 
<laughs> no, I'm just teasing. Praise God. Well, let's give Jesus honor. He's the healer. You can go back to your seats. God bless you. Give us a testimony. By the way, I want to do this uh, coming up here. Let's just say in a, in a couple weeks or so, if you've been touched or even online with some kind of testimony, I feel like we're supposed to have a moment in our service in a few weeks. That's what I'm hearing in my heart. We literally come to the Lord in worship and we testify of what he's done if there's a specific testimony so um, how about that wouldn't that be like, wouldn't that be something so I'll just wait for the timing of that but I feel like it'll be soon where we can testify of what God did all right well why don't you do this I mean it's Palm Sunday so it means you got to have your palm and then go like this and no you're not gonna punch your neighbor but you are going to give your neighbor a knuckle touch and then say this to them say hey I know your favorite food and then see if you can guess it all right as you give them a knuckle touch God bless you as you greet one another <laughs> 